In this video, we'll use tile maps to create a foreground, background, and collidable objects, like platforms or walls. I'll also show you how to do auto tiling using tile rules. First, I grab this tile map asset from Rotting Pixels that I'll link below. Then I open my simple 2D platformer, which I made in a previous video, which I'll also link below. Now to use tile maps, you'll need to make sure that in your package manager, you have 2D tile map editor installed. And if you want to do the auto tiling part of this video, you'll also want 2D tile map extras. Now we'll drag in our tile map sprite, set the pixels per unit to be one less than the tiles actually are. So mine are going to be 15. Um, set the filter mode to be point no filter and compression to none. And back up to sprite mode, set this to multiple. Now click Sprite Editor, Slice, then set Type to be Grid by Cell Size, and set the pixel size to be your actual size. So mine is 16 by 16. Uh, then click Slice, and you can see the grid cuts your tiles out for you. Then we'll click Apply. And now we can use these tiles in our tile map. So right click in our assets and go Create 2D Tile Palette. And I'll just name this Tile Map. Uh, now we're going to need a new window to put our tile map in. So go to Window, 2D tile palette and I'll drag this in with our inspector. Now we'll drag our sprites into our tile map which is open in our tile palette. I'm just going to create a new folder called tiles to put all these tiles in. Uh, and now if we open up our tiles we can see they're all inside there. Next we're going to add a grid to be able to paint these tiles onto. So go to 2D object then tile map and then rectangular. I'll name this ground and I'll delete this ugly white platform, very boring. Now if you select a sprite and draw on your scene, you can paint with your tile map. Now this isn't as fun as it automatically drawing for us. You see, I have to select each tile here and make a platform that lines up. Ooh, boring. So I can show you how to do auto tiling. For auto tiling, remember we need this 2D tile map extras installed so that we can get this rule tile. So to create a rule tile, we'll right click in our assets and go create. 2D tiles and then rule tile. I'll just name this ground tile. And now in the inspector, we can uh, click the plus to add new rules. I'm just selecting a default sprite here, which doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'm just going to speed through me adding some rules in here. You see, I'm adding arrows and X's to define rules for each sprite. Uh, to show this better, if we take what we want our final auto tiling to look like, we can easily see how to map these arrows and X's. So top left, for example, we put the X's where there must not be another sprite, and the green arrows will be where there must be a sprite. So I can show you, for example, the, for this middle uh, top tile, we want sprites all around apart from on top. Normally your center sprite would be your default sprite, but you can always add a rule where you have sprites around all sides. We can also add in rules for one tile high platforms in the same way. So for example, this left tile that's on its own, we just want one sprite to the right and then no sprites anywhere else. And the middle one, you'll want no sprites above and below and then sprites to the side. So I think you get it now. Now we're done, I'm going to go back into the tile palette and drag in our ground rule tile. Um, and now you can see as I'm dragging this out, it's automatically painting uh, based on our rules. <laughs> so our character doesn't fall through the platform, uh, we need to add some colliders to our ground tile. So if we just go down, add component and type in tile map collider 2D. If I zoom in, you can see this has added Collider around each of our sprites, which we don't actually want. This is really bad for performance since it's just too many colliders if you drew a whole map like this. So I just added a Composite Collider uh, and you, if you tick Use by Composite, you can now see we've just got one Collider around the whole thing. Hopefully you can see that it's the little green line is the Collider. This has also automatically added a Rigid Body 2D to our platform, so we just need to set that to static, otherwise our platform would also fall. And there we go, he's walking around! But that's a bit boring, so what I'm going to do is add another tile map, um, and this one I'm going to make for the background, so that we can add things that we don't collide with, but our player can walk through <laughs> and over. So it'll be in the background, basically. Uh, go to your tile palette and select background, and we'll just add some plants and stuff, you know? Now we have a background, let's add a foreground. So things that our player will walk behind. So I'm just adding another tile map to our grid. I'm just going to call this foreground. 
And to get these to actually appear in the right order, we need to add some sorting layers to our sprites. So if you click sorting layer, and I'm just going to add a player layer so that our player can be on the right layer. Uh, so our foreground is going to be foreground, our background should be background, and our player I'll set to player. Oh, I set the ground to foreground as well, just so it's in the foreground and doesn't look weird. I'll just add a little potion bottle to our foreground. And now when we press play, our character walks behind our potion in the foreground and in front of our plants. Very nice. He's loving it. Having the time of his life. Oh, 